What's up guys, YST here and welcome back to another Rage Shadow Legends video and today the portal is gleaming so we've got the 10x event alive in full effect to coincide with the Rise of Arc fusion and we've actually got a few champions on the list that I would love to have on my account being the Lady Kimmy who whenever I'm doing shard pulls you guys know if you've been watching the channel for a while that I always scream for Necmo Far or Lady Kimmy so she would be one of my hit list. And I also don't have a Stoutus Dragon Bane. And with the implementation of the hard mode dragon and some live arena, I would love to bring him into the mix as a defensive based nuka and just put in the work for me in some niche teams. So they'd be ones that I would actually be chasing throughout this 10x. But unfortunately, I've already got a counter slick. So if she pops out, might not be a happy day. I do have a sacred at the moment. And if we head into the Doom Tower, I have an extra one that I'll be able to get at midnight today once it resets. So that will be nine sacreds. And if we just head into the summon rush here, we're going to need 4,925 points, which is about nine sacreds and a few void shards or mystery shards, or just 10 sacreds in total, which is intensive, right? Now, it's all down to our discretion, I guess, if we really want to go for it, because if we head into the image here, there is a way to get this fusion without getting those points for that extra epic champion. But it means that we have to do every other single event in this fusion. And me as a player, I'm pretty bad at time management with these things. Um, but this one's pretty laid out in a decent way. But what happened in the previous fusion was, I was going for Supreme Elhane and then I, for some reason I just missed out on an event somewhere. And I found myself in that rhythm of chasing top places in milestone rewards of the tournament brackets. And I was failing, coming like third place when I was sleeping. And then I actually ended up missing out on that fusion. So I just don't want to be in that situation again. And with it being a cool 10x for me on my account, when I'm chasing specific champions, I think I might go all out for the epic here. Honestly. We'll see. If we proc a legendary, right, in the first four, I might consider saving a few. Oh, we've got 29 minutes to record this video. <laughs> Let's get into it. Um, some of you guys might actually see that on my channel that we've got a Jing 1. Wait, let me just show this. I'm going to pull this up here. So, over on Hell Hades channel, right? We did this video called I Have Never Done That with Nub Raids, Hell Hades, um, Banana Jam, and Cirilla. It was a lot of fun, guys. I'll leave it in the description below if you want to go and check it out. And through this, we actually got given some forfeits. So myself and Nub Raids tied, meaning that we have to ch change our avatar on our YouTube channels to whatever they want. And then Hell Hades has to do some form of cosplay, which I can't wait for. And then my one was actually Jing One here. <laughs> so we got Jing One with some sunglasses because for anyone that wasn't aware, I actually was the one apparently from Cirilla anyway, she said it in a video. I'll also leave that in the description on the main raid channel. Where I said 5,000 times Jing won a live on stream for Justice. And then straight after that, they buffed him. So in honor of Justice for Jing won, they've given me this meme picture. Which is pretty funny, I guess. But then when we head over to Nub Raid's one. If I just move myself out of the way. Nub got like a custom... Like, he always does those faces in his thumbnails, right? Like, oh my god, we're pulling a shard pool. And then, boom, he gets a custom drawn Fenax. So you guys let me know. Did he really get a forfeit here? I think he just got something he wanted anyway, pretty much. But yeah, don't get confused, guys. Um, the Jing one is there for a week, but it's a bit of fun, right? It's a bit of fun. Okay, let's take this off. We don't want to see it anymore. Bye-bye, Jing one Move myself back. All right, so let's get into it. Shard pools. So we've got eight to get through, maybe, potentially. <laughs> I keep saying it, but... <sighs> and by the way, guys, uh, before we get into this, giveaways. Um, I, I just keep delaying the shard pools. You guys, just get on with it, YST. Well, if you want to win 540 gems, one void shard, and one epic skill tome for five lucky winners, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed to the YouTube channel, and head over to the Discord link in the pinned comment or the description, and it will take you to my Discord server. From there, you can go down to the giveaway tab, click the party emo underneath the giveaway bot, and then we'll be putting the winners five days from now. So I want to give people as much of a chance for this one, as the winners will be processed from raid by the 25th, so in about 10 days. And the reason why I'm doing it a bit early this time is, I just want as many people to get involved as possible, and also, some players, they don't tend to give me their UM codes on time. So being able to give a few extra days before the 25th to get those, hopefully should plan out a little bit better. 
But that will all be in the Discord, guys. Make sure you get involved. It's a bit of fun, right? All right, let's go. Lady Kimmy's. We're going to get a Lady Kimmy today. No, we're not. I don't even know if I'm on Mercy. We got Nagorio. Let's go. Give me a uh, Lady Kimmy, please. Miscreated monster, very strong champion. Let me know, guys. Do you still use him in like Spiders teams or Clan Boss or whatever that may be? I remember using him for my... Um, I was doing the, the Nightmare campaign for the first time. It was a pretty good one. We got a Basilisk. I believe he does like a revive on death. Yep, there we go with Whip Stand. So that was like the four, I think. No, this is the fourth shard. An Epic. A Sakara. Do I go for it? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it, guys. I'm gonna go for it. I just feel like for me, I just don't want to miss out on this fusion. I find him a bunch of fun, man. Little hopping bunny. You know what I mean? Bugs Bunny. We're not gonna get any legendary champions here, are we? Yo, Kanoichi! You're not the only one with claws. <laughs> You're not the only one with claws, Kanoichi. Come on. Two more sacreds. Can we see that gold? Chancellor Yasmin. She actually has a lot of potential to be a good champion, but this just isn't reliable enough for me. It just doesn't make it much sense because she removes all buffs from all enemies, then places a sleep debuff for one turn on enemies who have active buffs. But if the whole point is to remove en buffs from enemies, do you really want to have the chance to sleep? You just want to remove it all, right? Oh no, guys, we got absolutely ripped and we got a uh, Theresk. Who is this chick? Do I even have her? Probably. Attacks all enemies, places decreased resistance, removing a random buff, and attacks one enemy two times, each it has a chance of... Okay. So we didn't get too lucky there. We're going to try one Void for Kalaidna. She's not the best champion in the world, but you never know. And we got an epic champion with the 10x in, two heart the Wanderer. Um, wait, I need to add up these points here. So if we do, we've got 500 to go, right? 2,120. So we're still going to be a bit short. I could do it with Mysteries, but I'm just going to do it with Ancients. Hopefully, because I really do want a Lady Kimmy. And if we could proc that, it'll be nice. Or well, saying that, I just got Fushan with Hell Hades when we went up at Insomnia Gaming. So it's going to be like a 0.5% chance thing. But who knows? Who knows? Epic Champion, who we get? Romero. Go find your Juliana. An Epic Champion? Come on. Attack the Wendering, very strong one. We got like the freezes, the burns, the block debuffs, the strengthens. I used it for a ton in my Spider 25 team. Apothecary, at least it wasn't the fake one with the Magister. How many of you guys have pulled that fake version and then it's like, ugh. All right, two more shots to go. Guardian, I think. Yes, we're getting good at the get their name guessing, guys. All right, so we're completely dry on shards now. We do have that sacred coming tomorrow, but keep an eye on my community page where I'll usually post like some shard pools here and there. I'm not gonna make a whole video for my one sacred. Oh, we got one more here. Let's go. <laughs> we got one more shot. But basically, um, I'll, put, I'll summon that sacred at midnight today and it might proc a legendary, right? But this is what happens. Um, on a 10x event, it's the same chances, right? We kind of have to anticipate these things. It's just if you happen to summon a legendary, there's that 10x chance to summon um, one of those champions from the list. But it's unfortunate. We do have a 2x sacreds next week. It's probably worth only doing the four for most players out there who's doing the fusion. And then you just do the rest of the events and then you'll be completely good to go, right? Um, it's just for me. I'm just want to make it as easy as possible, <laughs> pretty much. Probably the best thing to do 2x sacreds, right? But all right, um, that's going to be all for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I wish you all an amazing shard pool luck over this weekend and also have an amazing weekend too. And I'll see you on a video soon or a live stream for some live arena action. And peace.